A deadly mystery in the high desert tonight. A young woman studying to be a nurse who went missing for days has now been found dead. KCAL 9 Inland Empire reporter Nicole Comstock is live tonight in Adelanto, where investigators don't have much to go on right now. Nicole? That's right, and sheriff's deputies were actually on their way to the family's home to help them file a missing persons report when they received information that the victim's car was found not too far away and that, unfortunately, she was dead inside of it. Well, tonight, the victim's family tells us they have no idea why anyone would want to take her life. It's dark here and isolated at the end of the cul-de-sac in this unfinished housing development off the 395 in Victorville. The last place Emily Gonzalez's family expected her SUV would turn up after she was missing for three days. And their worst fear materialized. The just turned 20 year old's lifeless body was discovered inside. Why? We're all wondering why was she out there? Tanya Rio says she knew the outgoing, outdoorsy young nursing student since she was just 12 years old. And I've watched her grow and you know, turned out to be a beautiful woman. And it's sad that her life was cut short. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department is not releasing Emily's cause of death, but they have since opened a murder investigation. They say they have not identified a suspect or whether or not that person was known to her. Her mother, who was too distraught to go on camera, says she had no enemies or exes she was concerned about. So her last moments here are by all means a mystery. It's unbelievable that this could happen to someone so young and not to know why. Emily's body was found two and a half miles away from where she worked at the Walmart Supercenter in Victorville. Her family's waiting to find out if she made it to her last shift or not. She was the baby of the family and her two older sisters are stunned and lost without answers. If anybody does, we'd like them to step forward and, you know, let us know. Everybody's hurting right now. Everybody wants closure. And the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department is also not saying whether or not they believe that she could have been killed at that location or somewhere else and then left there. So certainly if you have any information about the final moments of her life, they really need to hear from you. Reporting live in Adelanto, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.